I feel like a kid on Christmas morning. This is our brand new AM machinery, AM 716-1600. The AM is deck over dump, 716 is seven feet wide, 16 feet long, and 1600 is 16,000 pounds. And the log loader that we selected for this model is the AM190 that gives you 19 feet worth of reach from the center out. And uh, this does come standard with a 48 inch pass through grapple. Uh, I believe we were right around 15 feet from the side of the trailer to center of the grapple. I'll show you here what it looks like. So this is a brand new model uh, that AM Machinery has put out. Uh, I believe this is the first video of this particular trailer anywhere on the internet. Uh, this does have the all new wooden deck on it with a square bunk pole kind of side to it and a square headache rack up in the front. Um, I selected to have this entire trailer frame and dump frame galvanized. That's not aluminum. This is a galvanized uh, trailer. I didn't like 100% galvanized. I think it makes it look too shiny. So we did opt to put the uh, the black bunk poles on and uh, some other black accessories. Uh, these are the ladder style ramps uh, that slide in underneath the trailer. It's really nice and neat. Um, I think they are right about eight feet long and uh, you pull them out, stick them on the end rack there. I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit. Uh, these axles are a little upgraded from the standard 8,000 pound Dexters. I believe these might be 10s underneath here uh, just because of the 17.5 load range H tires. Uh, it does have the big 5 8 size wheel studs on this. Uh, heavy, heavy tire. Uh, I believe it's an 18 ply. If I can find, there it is. Oh, load range J. I'm sorry, J range, 18 ply. 215, 17.5s. If these babies belly out, you know there's a load on there. Uh, we did choose a Honda electric start. I just think the Honda sounds a little bit nicer. Uh, it doesn't quite labor out like the Briggs or a Subaru motor does. Um, this is the 390 version. 390cc is what I believe that stands for. Uh, we did go ahead and stick on an hour meter on this uh, and just kind of it's my personality i like to know you know for oil intervals and that kind of things uh the dump cylinder on this yes this is a telescopic i believe it's a four piece one two three and then the fourth one is up in the actual case itself uh, while we're looking here uh, these are sliding ratchet strap uh, style heavy duty binders with the chain hook ends on it. There are four of them. The one here between the tires doesn't really move around a whole lot just because the wheels are there, but you do have four adjustable ratchet strap type deals. Uh, this is where the ramps clip on, on either side. We did put a toolbox on this one. Um, we are going to be delivering uh, the firewood bags with this trailer and wanted to have a place where I could shove some empty bags, some additional ratchet straps, you know, any of that kind of stuff. And then when we're out doing firewood dogs, I'm always needing a chainsaw. So here's my little climber saw and gas can, some mix oil, tape measure. Oh, the electric start battery for the Honda is also in here in the bottom compartment. Probably going to put in some additional kind of I don't know, closet hook kind of things for hanging some stuff up on the inside there jump up here and I'll show you what the controls look like so the lever to the far right over here that's the dump and then everything else is just as pictured Uh, the holes here, that's where the optional winch mounts. It's a hydraulic winch if you wanted to put something up on the boom. 
And again, the AM190 stands for 19 feet worth of reach from the center of the trailer out where we're standing. Uh, lift capacity on this AM190 is 3,000 pounds at the half reach part. So a little bit less further out and a lot more the closer you come into the trailer. This is the first 190 that we've had on the property. We've always had the 170s. Back off here and give you a side shot. So this is the one thing that I really, really like about the AM machinery log loader trailers. Uh, as you can see, this grapple is right over the center of the cab. So we are reaching 19 feet from the center of the console there up to the front of the truck. So if you were pulling this with like an F550, an International, anything like that, you could easily load the open body, the stake body of the tow vehicle, or in this case, I could almost put something right in through the sunroof, so. Well, this is something I've always been asked, but have never tried, because I simply just haven't had a trailer here big enough to do it with, but this is an S300 with a 74 inch rock and brush grapple on it, and everything is legit, it fits in here nice, the boom is not touching the cab anywhere, and this is truly remarkable. I've never done it before. Uh, machine weighs about 9,000 pounds, I'm guessing, by itself. The grapple bucket's 1,000 pounds. Um, I have to climb up on the back here. Let's see. Probably three or four inches going up over the cab. I honestly can't believe that it fits, but uh, that's pretty neat. So if you had to, that's about as big of a machine as you're gonna get on here and uh, fits quite well. A little on the skinny side, but Nested a grapple inside of a grapple. Just about centered on the trailer. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So this is the trailer in the down and stored position with the boom. Uh, with the grapple stored all the way to the front like this, you're about 11 foot 5, 11 foot 6 at the very top of the elbow there. And even if the grapple is at the rear of the trailer doing the same thing, you're still around that 11 4, 11 5, you know, kind of number with it. So just for going down the road, definitely no uh, drive through meals with this one, sticking up as high as it is. The wooden deck is going to come in really handy in the winter time, so I'm not slipping and sliding, you know, over a steel floor. Oh, trailer lightweight. I did scale just the trailer on the way home. Uh, it weighs about 7,600 pounds. I think it was 7,620. Uh, so you have a 16,000 pound gross weight. So the difference is your cargo capacity, at least on paper anyway, uh, with these oversized tires, wheels, and axles. I would say you could definitely get quite a bit of wood on this trailer. So I have a couple places I have to go and grab some firewood logs at some point. So uh, stay tuned for that. Again, I am AJ Shaver with Shaver Specialty Services and Sales, Inc. Uh, we are located in northeastern Pennsylvania. We are a full service dealer for AM machinery along with uh, brute force you see there in the background and these NNZ log lift bags. Uh, if there's anything we can help you out with, uh, give us a phone call at 833-SPLITTER. That's 833-775-4887. 
you can always email us at sales at shaverequipment.com and we hope to hear from you soon uh, allow us to get you a quote so we can earn your business we do ship nationwide again i am aj shaver with shaver sales thanks for watching